Hey guys, welcome to another Unreal Engine tutorial. In this video, we'll be creating a menu and a main menu and a pause menu. So what we're first going to do is just create a new level and call this one menu. This is just for the menu. So we'll be making nothing. We'll be putting nothing in there. It's just going to be black, empty. And then what we're going to do is open the blueprints wait no so first what we're going to do is open the widgets and create a new widget we can call the the widget menu and let's open that up now in menu we're just going to add a text a text on the bottom there there you go and then let's name this play so that's going to be our play button and then I'm going to do size to content. And then I'm also going to make the writing a bit bigger and a different font. So I'm going to change it to light just because it looks nicer. And I'm going to put it to around 175. Now I'm going to add another text here. And this one's going to be the name of our game. So that's just going to be extreme racing. Nothing fancy. I'm going to change the font again. And I'm just going to align this to the middle, just so that we don't lose it on the page. I'm going to put this to 0.5, the alignment, and then the position, the X and the Y, to 0. And I'm just going to move that up, just so that's more precise. And now what I'm going to do is just add a button over it. So right now the button looks green, but we'll fix that in just a sec. So in color and opacity, and style, sorry, we're going to put it the opacity is zero so that we don't see it and also we're going to change the press the hovered and the press to no color now if we go all the way to the bottom on on clicked drag out from that and select and type in open level by name now you want to make sure you have the right level so what we're going to do is just click f2 on new menu to change the name and then we're going to do copy and let's go back in our thing and let's paste that there just so that we get the right exact name no spelling mistakes or anything now i just looked up car background out of focus here just to get a good background for our picture now i imported this in there and what I'm going to do is just change the name to background. And now I'm going to go to menu and add an image. I'm going to put that in the back. Make this big. I'm going to anchor it to the full screen. So it always stays full screen. And I'm just going to look up the background image there. And there you go. Perfect. I'm just going to change the size here. Just so that it fits in perfectly. Having a bit of trouble. There you go. That's perfect. And now that's going to be it for our menu. And now what we can do is open the level blueprint and then off event begin play we're going to create a widget in the class it's going to be the widget that we just made menu and then out of that we can do add to viewport and then slide the target to the return value and there you go Now, if we do unlit, you can see that there's absolutely nothing in this place. But what we're going to do, we're just going to put a little platform for us to stay on, just so that we're not falling endlessly. There you go. And now, if we go on the level blueprint, do set game pause, so that the player isn't moving, it can't move around or anything. Now, if we do play, now we can see there's our menu. Now we didn't 
we didn't uh, center the the button so right now it's lost in our page and also you can't even see the mouse so that's two things we need to fix so if we go back here we can move in the in the level blueprint off of that we're gonna do a get player controller and then out of the get player controller we're gonna do set show mouse cursor so that's gonna allow us to see the mouse while we're in the widget and we're gonna check that and there you go now when we're playing here we can still see the mouse and it's not gone now the play button still doesn't work because our box isn't centered I'm gonna fix that in a sec Let me open up my widget. As you can see, the anchor isn't centered. And now if we try it again. Now if I click play, it opens up our level. And now this is just a, a heads up display that I added, that I downloaded from the, the Unreal Engine Marketplace. Um, it actually, I had to pay for it, but if you guys want it, I'll leave the link down below. Now, what I'm going to do now is just an escape key for the pause menu. So when we're going to press escape, it's going to do a flip flop. And then off of A, we're going to do create widget. And now we don't have the class yet. So what we're going to do is go in our widget folder. And then let's create a new widget all the way at the bottom. And let's name that pause. In paused, we're going to add text. And it's just going to be called, it's going to say game paused. And then we're going to change the font to light. Centered and the alignment to 0.5 and the position x y to 0 0 and then we're going to bring it up just again so that it's perfectly centered and let's add another text in there what we're going to do actually just copy paste the game pause so that we don't have to redo all those settings and we're just going to change it to resume and let's change the size to 50 and the alignment to right underneath the game paused. We're going to copy paste that. Change that to restart. And we're going to copy paste that again. Bring it down. And this one's just going to be quit. Now we're going to add a button in there. What I'm going to do is just copy paste the button over from our menu just so that I don't have to redo all the, the making everything transparent. So now we just have a transparent button. And now if we go all the way to the bottom and we do on clicked and we can just do quick game. It's as simple as that. And now if we go back, we can copy paste that button. Add it over the restart make it fit nice and properly now scroll all the way to the bottom and on clicked and now we do open level by name and what we can do is go in our menu and just copy paste it again from there and there you go new map and that's all we have to do there and now in resume we're just going to do we're going to go all the way to the bottom again and add an on click. And now I'm casting it to the widget, which you don't have to do. So don't do the casting. All you have to do is do um, remove from parent. And that's it's, just, it's going to do exactly what I just did. So all you have to do is remove from parent and that's all. Now, now you can set in the in the car blueprint you can set it to the widget that we just made 
and then off B of flip flop, do remove from oh, remove from parent from the return value of the widget. So that means when you click flip flop, when you click escape, it'll open the widget, but if you click it again, it'll remove it. And now you add an app to viewport. Off of that, set game paused, click true. And now we're gonna get the player controller and set show mouse cursor. Make that the true. And there you go. Now off of remove from parent, do set game paused, and we're just gonna make that not true anymore. Same thing for the mouse. Now we're just gonna select all this and press C on the keyboard to add a comment, and I'm gonna name this pause widget. And there you go. Now, if I press play, it's gonna load that up. And now I'm in my game. Oops, I forgot to add a background to my widget. So what I'm gonna do is go in my widget, add an image. Make it full screen and anchor it to the full thing. And that's just gonna be again our same background as before, so we're gonna name it background. Let me just move that to the back. There you go. Now I can compile and save. And there you go. Now I'm playing in my game. If I press escape, I have my pause menu. I can do resume, restart, quit. If I click resume, it continues the game. If I do res quit, it closes everything. And there you go. That's all for today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.